Welcome to Ring Alarm. We're glad you're one of our neighbors. Ring Alarm puts a ring of security in and around your home using different types of security devices. The base station provides security for your entire home. The contact sensor monitors a door or window in your home. The motion detector watches a room inside your house for motion. The keypad is the physical control panel for Ring Alarm. The range extender expands your network so a distant device can talk to the base station. Together, all these devices make up Ring Alarm. Your Ring Alarm system monitors sensors to put a ring of security in and around your home. Ring Alarm includes three security modes to fit your needs. Away monitors all the sensors in and around your home, giving you the most security when you're not there. Home monitors sensors around your home, but ignores the ones inside, giving you freedom to move around your home. Disarmed doesn't monitor any sensors, allowing you to go in and out easily. These three modes allow you to keep your home security in sync with you. You can change your security mode from the Ring app or keypad. To change modes using the app, open the dashboard, then tap the new mode. To change modes on the keypad, enter your four-digit access code, then choose the new mode. As an owner, you can add shared users and assign each of them unique four-digit access codes. When Ring Alarm is set to Away and Armed or Home and Armed, it monitors sensors in your home. If a door opens or a sensor detects motion, the system will alarm. If you're signed up for professional monitoring and out of the seven-day practice mode, you'll get a call asking if everything's okay. If you can't be reached, the monitoring center will call your other emergency contact. If either you or your emergency contact confirm things are wrong or give an incorrect verbal password, the local authorities will be dispatched to you. When they come, they'll make sure you're okay, then walk you through the premises to check the area. If the authorities are dispatched but find nothing wrong, you may be charged a false alarm fee. There are a few things you can do to eliminate false alarms. First, make sure your emergency contact's information is up to date and that they know your verbal password. The verbal password lets the alarm company know that the person they're talking to is authorized to make decisions about your safety. You can change it in the monitoring settings of your Ring app. Second, make sure that you've installed your sensors properly. Finally, review the system with your family and be sure they understand how to use Ring Alarm and its security modes. Welcome to our neighborhood. With Ring, you're always home.